Hey guys, so this is my project share for a swap that I'm participating in for a Facebook group. And this is actually for Tracy, who is uh, Shy Town Tracy on YouTube, and she's also the owner of Art Attack Supplies. Uh, many of you know her because she sells lots of goodies, um, especially the Tilda goodies. Um, and so we're uh, in a swap and we did a, uh, we're to do an altered muffin tin. I don't know if this looks like a muffin tin to you, but my muffin tin actually, you can see the bottom here, and hopefully that book doesn't fall down in the back. Um, my muffin tin is round because this is one of those plastic ones, I guess you can put it in the microwave. I don't know, I've never made mu muffins in the microwave, but I suppose you could really, right? So. Uh, I know Tracy likes um, teals and pinks, um, so that's what I went with, and I didn't do Tilda this time. I used the Tea Party stack that's at the back, and um, that particular page right there that I'm pointing at. Um, and it's only a little bit of paper to cover the tops of these spools that are in the middle of my muffin tin. Um, this is a six cup muffin tin. And I painted it pink with the um, Krylon chalky finish um, color. Um, I got this at Michael's. And I decided that I wanted to use these um, muffin or actually cupcake decorating thingies. Let me see if I can t take this out. It's a cupcake uh, wrapper, kind of. And then inside of that, I put the tilde wrappers that I had ordered from Tracy because I needed something that was the bottom since these don't have a bottom to them. They typically just wrap around a cupcake to make them look pretty. And I um, really like this. This was in the wedding section. And I guess it matches exactly the Craftsmith, Craftsmith paper. So maybe Craftsmith actually um, put these out too. I don't know. Um, but... Uh, down in here, I'm not going to show you the goodies. Down inside of here, um, there's some goodies underneath this uh, flower that I made. And I'll show you the flower close up. This is a tool flower um, that I made and put a button in the center. And this one happens to be pink and teal, um, two colors together. So I'm going to leave that out. So you can see that um, the muffin tin is actually um, plain where I have these little um, muffin uh, inserts or the cupcake inserts. But if you turn it around, you can see I decorated this with pearls um, in the, the same colors as the paper uh, line. So I went with the pinks and the teals and um, some of the tins, whoops, there goes the bird. The bird's not stuck down in there. And um, the bird is just sitting inside of a um, vintage, I guess this is like a, uh, what do they call them? It's a mold. Um, but the bird, I, I glued this flag to it and put some of this gold ribbon or gold metallic. It's gold metal wire, not ribbon, but it's metal wire that's like ribbon-like. And you can just stretch it out. And um, I put this little flag at the top with a strawberry, of course. And it says, just for you. This is from Teresa Collins in gold and white. And then... Um, there's a pearl at the top of the flag that's got a head pin in it. I seem to like doing that with my projects. And um, because I have a lot of those straws from the same collection that the uh, muffin, muffin cupcake wrappers are from um, at Michael's, I have to use them up, you know, or I'll forget. I did put some um, trim around the tin that is glued down. Um, it doesn't come loose. And then um, that is sitting on top of two wooden spools. And these wooden spools are actually from Marshalls. They had different color ribbon on them. I just took them off. And I knew I wanted some height in the center. So that's what I did. And they're kind of offset from each other. And then I put some um, paper down, which is that Tea Party paper. That's that one, that sheet in the back. Um, I cut a circle with my circle cutter, um, distressed the edges, and then stuck it to the top and did the same thing here. There's, you can actually see it peeking out. And then it's decorated here with flowers. These are Wild Orchid Craft flowers, I believe. Um, and then there's some more pearls here. There is a stick pin on each of the um, spools, and the spools don't turn or anything like that. They're just glued down. 
um, to secure them. But there is a stick pin over here that I made and also wrapped some flowers around it. And this is a bead that Vicky Tryheart67 gave me. She also gave me this one here. They're, they're coordinating. Um, I love those beads. And then there's they're through some flowers. And the, the, be the pins are just holding the material here on the bottom, which is what I made that tool flower out of. And then some flat back pearl um, strand here. Um, so let me go to the right here. Um, you can see that I have pearls kind of like decorating the um, some of the cups too. So if I pull the goodies out of this cup, which I will do, you can see some of the goodies here. Um, I'm holding this video so Tracy will not see this video until I post it and she has um, received her swap package. You can see that I kind of um, put the pearl down into the cup too um, and decorate it that way. So um, you can see that there are three cups that actually have that same sort of decoration. So um, that when she uses up all the goodies, that it doesn't just look plain or she can put something else in there um, and continue to use the muffin tin for um, embellishments. And that's kind of what we're supposed to do for the swap. I, I'm probably not going to get this in there correctly. Um, I'll fix it later. Um, that's what we were supposed to do for the swap anyway. And um, so I won't take everything out just so that um, you guys can see how it's supposed to look. So there's some flowers in here. These are fabric flowers. And then one of these bows with um, sequins. And then there's another cup around the back. You can see as, as I turn it, the bird is kind of just sitting there. Um, there's goodies down in, in this cup too. There's goodies underneath each of the cupcake, in, the, in each of the cupcake wrappers. And then this one happens to have paper flowers that I used to coordinate with the um, with the uh, muffin tin. And so you can see here, um, the, this is the back side. It's not as decorated, you know, with the pearls and stuff. But I just kind of wanted to leave some open space too. So um, yeah, this is my muffin tin. And Tracy, I do hope you like it. Um, we didn't talk much about colors and such like that, um, or really what paper you wanted, um, and that's fine. I, I was able to figure out what I wanted to do for you, and I do hope you like what I've created for you. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon, and have a great rest of the week. Hey, guys. Bye now. So I'm back. I just wanted to share quickly the card that I made for Tracy as well that goes along with her muffin tin. I used the same paper stack as the muffin tin um, spool tops, um, and this is the tea party stack. Um, so two different papers. Actually, I had a scrap piece left over because I only cut circles from the other one from the piece that I used. And then I um, also used this pattern here, right here. So just cut that down to six by six, um, and also made some flowers, little tiny flowers. These are flowers made from a Martha Stewart punch. And, and I put a little bit of um, a little pearl in the center of each one after kind of playing with the, um, you know, with the McGill pad and the little balls to um, make the shape. I added a ribbon here. And this actually comes from the paper stack too. It's one of the cut aparts. And then uh, I put on the inside a mat and then one of the journaling cards and use some of the Teresa Collins um, stickers and I have left my message here for Tracy but I will put that on there and this is actually this um, cardstock base is the um, this basil cardstock in white and I have a ton of it um, in 12 by 12 so this is the card that I made to go with her muffin tin so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon bye